Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to um, my second, I guess, attempt at vlogging. So I will be taking you with me today. We will be going to the Pedia for my two-month-old's cradle cap, which I think has already gotten infected, and then to my daughter's ballet class. So let's go! By the way, this is my two-month-old, and this is what I'm talking about. There. Her cradle cap has gotten worse in the past few days. I guess two days. I've just noticed... Um, I've just noticed this, I think, yesterday. Like, I just noticed it was becoming worse. Because it's made out of too big. Nagtutubig siya, guys. So, yun. Kailangan kong dadihin sa pedia si Ayla. And I am taking you with me. Ayan. Okay. So, yun. We are already done with the pedia. And we left our two-month-old at my mother-in-law's place. Okay. And here is her newly okay. pierced ears. Show your earrings, starting. Where are your earrings? There. <laughs> so she's in her ballet attire. She's ready for ballet. And oh, recording. Okay, Jessica there. Hi, this is Kyra. And it's my baby sister. What is the baby sister? Where is the baby sister? I don't know where baby sister is. Baby sister is getting longer. Very, very longer. Okay. I'm eating yogurt. I'm eating yogurt. And? I'm eating orange juice. This. <laughs> I bought it. You bought it? I see this bottle. Where did, you, where did you get this? Where did you buy this? What is that thing called? What is it called? A vending? Yes. Vending machine. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Like Kiki. Like Kiki. Hi guys. So it is the next day. I wasn't able to vlog much yesterday because I had my hands full, but uh, with my three-year-old, and yeah, 
So I'm just gonna update you or vlog about what happened yesterday. By the way, I'm inside. If you can't tell, if it's not very, very obvious yet, I am inside my daughter's nursery, their room. So like I said, we went to the Pedia yesterday to have Isla's, my, Isla is my two month old, to have Isla's cradle cap checked. And her Pedia, um, and her Pedia referred us to a uh, per, per member. <laughs> so yeah, her Pedia referred us to a Pedia dermatologist. And according to the dermatologist, she has, Isla has, um, how do you pronounce it? Seboraic dermatol dermatologist? Seboraic? Um, what? Seboraic dermatitis, I think is the term. And the reason why her cradle cap got, you know, inflamed um, and infected was because whenever she would put her fist in her mouth, which she does often, I have noticed, um, she would spread it around her face so the saliva irritates the... Um, cradle cap so yeah that's the reason why it got inflamed but before we went to the doctor or to her pedia I already bought a lot of Mostella stuff uh, the Stella Topia line and let me tell you uh, if you're not familiar with the brand Mostella it's it's kind of it's a little well yeah it's kind of expensive on the expensive side but the dermatologist um, told me that I did not waste my money. I can still I can still use this stuff, but it's just it's just that I we have to do intensive treatment. And so I will show you the Mustela products or the Mustela line that I showed my um, my daughter's pedia dermatologist. And which she actually approved of. It's just that we needed ex extensive, we needed intensive, and you would, <laughs> we needed to uh, um, give her intensive treatment. These are the Mostella Stellatopia line that I bought, that we bought for Isla, in the hopes of, you know, treating her cradle cap. But then, you know, before, before it got inflamed and that bad. I have here the emollient balm, which is not focusing. So I have, so I have the emollient balm. Good job! Good job! <laughs> Good job. The Stellatopia Cleansing Cream, which I use as her soap. And then this um, foam shampoo as well as this purifying recovery cream okay Aww. Aww. so i didn't get a chance to use this too but this one i've been using for like a week now and this one i stopped using after about two three days when i noticed that you know the uh, her cradle cap is getting worse but i'm pretty sure it's not yeah, it's not this. It's not because of this. It's because of, um, as the dermatologist explained, it's because of um, my daughter's saliva. So, yeah. Um, this one, my... So, this one, the dermatologist uh, told us that we could use this. We could continue using this. So, this is what we're using as her soap, her bath soap, but then she recommended us um, some products that, you know, would help with the treatment of the infection, and it's this product right here. So I have the Seba Med Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. This is what I use. This is what I'm using on her for now, and then I have the um atoderm intensive balm and this one i have to use at least three times a day on her or at most i guess five times three to five times a day i have to use this three to five times a day oh, it's not focusing again
Then she also recommended uh, Cutivate and Fusidin to apply on uh, my baby's face on top of this. So I'm applying this, this, and this on top of her face. So these are the products that I'm piling on my two-month-old's face. And this is what I mean by intensive treatment. So I just pile this one on. After that, this one and this one. Um, I think the Cutivate one has to be applied two, th two times. Two times a day. And the Fusidin three times a day. If I'm not mistaken. Just a disclaimer, guys. Okay, If you have a baby and they're going through the same thing. Or it sounds like they're going through the same thing as my daughter. Do not, okay, do not buy these things and not consult your pediatricians, okay? You have to go to the pedia, you have to go to a dermatologist pedia and consult them first, okay? I'm just showing you this stuff for the sake of sharing, alright? So, I'm not, I'm not prescribing you these things, okay? I'm just showing you to, you know, share with you. So, yeah. So those are the things that my um, two-month-old are currently using. Yeah. So while I was at the dermatologist of my two-month-old, my husband stayed at their pedia to have my to have our three-year-old daughter's ears pierced. <laughs> Can you tell us about your earrings, darling? Okay. Wait, wait. Let me just see. Turn left. No, that's right. Okay. Right. Okay, wow. That is pretty. You like your earrings? Yes. How about the other ear? Other earring. Wow, okay, you face us. <laughs> so cute. Oh, can you tell us about your earrings? I need to read a book. But can you tell us about your earrings? Do you like them? Yeah, look at them. Okay. And because of all the stuff that's going on in my mind, you know, mommy brain, uh, I forgot to tell my husband to get a video of her getting her ears pierced. I find it kind of sad that I was not present during my daughter getting her ears pierced. So. I regret not asking my husband or forgetting to ask my husband to take a video of it for me. So yeah, it took us this long to have her ears pierced because I have actually already decided when she was one year old that I wanted her to be the one to decide whether she wants to have her ears pierced or not and I was not going to force it on her. But then she has this toy earrings that she got from her Kinder Surprise egg. And she has been asking me to put it on her, but it kept falling off and I got really tired. So I asked her. Mom, you want to try it? Yes, later, darling. So I asked her if she wanted to have earrings, you know, get her ears pierced and get earrings. And she said yes, she agreed to it. So now she has earrings. <laughs> that wraps up my uh, short vlog and hopefully I get to upload this because I always try to vlog but I never got around uploading them because I'm too conscious of myself I guess but yeah hopefully I get to upload this one because I really want to share um, some stuff with you guys like this one and cloth diapering and packing videos and all that mommy goodness I'm vlogging. you're vlogging <laughs> tell them to subscribe Click to subscribe. <laughs>